Hey, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while and we'll cover all the updates with the other cars at the end of this, but this one we're gonna jump right into with adding some new go fast bits to the Mini. Let's take a look at what we got. All right, so the first mod is gonna be the Denon Integ Resonator Delete. So that's this one specifically for the JCW Minis, right there. This one's a larger diameter than your standard Mini, 76 millimeter. I believe the other one is 72, a little bit, but you know, every little bit counts. So this is going to delete the big resonator and give us back some turbo sounds and bring some life to the Mini's voice. So let's start tearing off some old stuff and get some new stuff in. So the process seems pretty straightforward. We start with the two tens right here, one right there, one over here, and then you move on to the air box, one right there. This snorkel right here will lift up once you push the little clip back here. Just comes up like so. Put that over there. Then you're gonna have to pull the coil pack cover or the whole valve cover cover to expose this. And then you're gonna grab these clips over here. These just pinch and pull. Another one back here, pinch and pull. One right here, pinch and pull. Then the clip right here, uh, pull the little clear plastic clip back and that just slides back. Undo the flathead worm bolt clip right here, clamp right there. And then we can pull this out, which I have just resting. I'll do that once I put the camera down. And then we can undo the last little clip that's hidden down there. I'll see if I can find a way to get video of it. If not, I'll show you once I got the part out. There's also a hidden Torx bit back here that you got to take off that holds the intake resonator in. And that's the resonator itself right there. Alright, so here we are now. I ended up taking off the strut tower bar. That gave us much needed space. I did also pull the cowl off like I mentioned earlier. And after that, it kind of just fished right out. I did cut the clip from the factory unit and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Other than that, the hardest part was undoing this sensor. I think it's a boost sensor, I'm not entirely sure, from the bottom of the intake resonator. Now let's take a look at the old stuff compared to the new stuff. So here's the old resonator out of the car, and as you can see, it has like those filters and those chambers where the sound and additional air gets trapped. It kind of slows down intake velocity as well, so this being a smoother transition without any of those. I'll put the camera down for a second while I separate this. And like I was saying, this being a smoother transition, it should make a little bit more power, and if not, a little bit more noise. So let's start putting on the new stuff. We'll first start with putting that hose on and then we'll route this and then connect the stock intake tube. is the metal ring snapping into place. I already transferred that over and it's all just connecting the little fittings. Let me snap these together. This is where I'm gonna break these shits. Let me get a little oil for those. Just got to do the connection for the sensor on the bottom, but 
it's not a great angle for that so I'm just gonna do that off camera real quick all right so there it is the first performance mod on the mini can barely tell that it's in there it's very inconspicuous unless you're actually looking for it kind of looks stock which is what I like and I'm pretty sure it's gonna hide even more once I throw the engine cover on it and just as I thought it hides even further with the engine cover up but you can see the Denon logo poking up ever so slightly from there now let's see if it sounds any different Right now that it's warmed up a bit, we can rev it a little bit. Hmm. It feels like it revs a little smoother. Not getting much more turbo noises, but it is just free revving, not under load. So we'll do some driving with it a little later on after I finish cooking dinner. But overall, pretty happy with it. Got a little bit of change in sound. Y'all might not notice on camera, but I can to the ear here at least. So it's all that matters to me. And it's popping and banging a little more out the back, which the 23s shouldn't be. But we'll uh, join you back later with some driving clips. I don't have any street driving clips, but enjoy this preview from the next mini video. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.